Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 29 of How to Survive EVE Online. Let's get started on the next step of the military chain. So right-click Civil Aeron, or whoever your military agent is. You can always check your journal if you forget who that is. You can always check Help, Support tab, Show Career Agents. That's the other way to check to see who that is. But anyway, let's get these other winters out of the way. Uh, the agent wants us to destroy some pirates at a convoy ambush site. Uh, eliminate them all. You can warp out. Uh, take a moment to repair yourself and then warp back in. Let's click accept. The game will throw text at you. Let me double check my fitting. Alright, everything looks good. Undock. Right-click empty space, cash flow for capsuleers, encounter, warp to location within zero meters. Warp drive active. By the way, you may have noticed that this one does not say encounter dead space, it just says encounter. Normally, you can use your warp drive to warp to an object as long as it is at least 150 kilometers away. Very generous for the warp drive's capabilities, considering that it normally takes you over astronomical units. In most mission dead spaces, you cannot warp from one point to another in the same dead space. This, however, is not a dead space. I'm going to double click towards those two enemies. This is not a dead space, so you could warp from one side of the scenery to the other, assuming you have bookmarks on either side of the scenery. I'm going to approach. And as soon as I can get them within seven kilometers, I will open fire. Actually, I will probably also stop my ship. Control. I'm just a little bit closer. Control spacebar and shoot. F1. More enemies have shown up. You know what? Let me double click downwards that direction. Oh, let me change targets. Let me go downwards now. Let me change directions. I'm using F1 to turn on the guns, and if they're already on, F1 will turn them off. Or rather, I should say active, activate and deactivate. I'm not actually off-lining them as the game defines off-line. Let me zoom out a little bit. I will go in that direction. Let me see if I can go around this obstacle to get a little bit closer. All right, control spacebar to stop. Alright, that Coralie Spy is not getting any closer. Let me try approaching on Afterburner. Just one pulse of the Afterburner. Hold on. I must have had something else selected.
Now is the time to turn on the small arm repair. Turn it off since I only want to run it one cycle. There we go. That patches up the armor quite nicely. Let's see. Probably flying through this obstacle field is not may not be a good idea for a new player. In case you need to warp out, you want a nice clear path to warp out along. By the way, if you know you're not going to be running your armor repair module all the time, you can right-click the repair and set auto repeat off. That way, whenever, whenever you hit the armor repair module, it just runs for one cycle and shuts off. that Corelli agent. Control F1 to turn on the armor repair, and again, because I set auto repeat off, it will only run one cycle. Alright, stop my ship. Control F1 again. And that would be my armor alarm going off at the 66% mark. I'm gonna run the armor again. Oh, you, oh he's outranging me. That's what's going on. Alright, approach the Corelli spy. I may need to turn on and off the afterburner and open fire. Now on this guy, because he likes a nice wide orbit, reverse kiting should work pretty effectively. If I don't go shooting, overshooting his position. Control spacebar. All right. Right click a wreck, bookmark location, and okay. Let's go to the... Oh, let me show you something. First of all, Let me turn on the afterburner and get out of... Let me get this obstacle out of my way. I have generally have a good idea of how to fly my ship. As a new player, you might not. But one thing you could do is select a celestial object in the distance and click Align. Remember what I said about the conditions to go to warp. You must be moving towards that object at sublight speed and at least 75% of your current maximum velocity. If you don't meet those conditions, you cannot go into warp. If you issue a warp command without meeting those conditions, your ship will try to turn to meet those conditions. So I've told my ship to align to warp. So now I am aligned. I meet the conditions to go to warp, but because I only gave an align command and not a warp command, my ship did not actually go into warp. Uh, control R, reload weapons. So I could fight while aligned. All those enemies could be chasing me. I could fight while aligned. I could even reduce my speed. Well, reduce my speed not below 75%. Let me click right here. So I'm going at least 75% of full speed. Maybe they can catch up to me. Uh, if they do catch up to me, I could go back up to full speed if I wanted to. I'm still moving in the direction of that station. And as long as I'm more than 75% speed, I'm aligned. And if I'm taking way too much damage, I can hit dock. Warp drive active. By the way, uh, you may want, to, if you are an armor tanking ship, you probably have an armor repair module. You'll probably want to patch up your armor whenever uh, with your own modules because that's free. If you dock up in a station and you have to use a repair shop, it's going to cost you ISK. And I will show you an example of that. Docking Possibly in the requested. next episode, because I don't know how I'm doing for time on this episode. Docking request accepted.
first order of business, right click the agent, start conversation, complete the mission. Let's close this. This is the repair shop button. You can either click on this or you can right click the ship and select get repair quote. And it's going to cost you 348 ISK to repair this ship. Uh, it's a frigate, so it's not going to be expensive. If I were trying to repair a battleship that had taken one-third armor damage, it would be a lot more expensive. So I'd probably want to use armor repairs for that. In the next episode, we will take on the next step of the military chain. Uh, when I go out into space, I'll remember to re use my own armor repair module. In the meantime, thank you for, thank you for watching.